Hey everybody, welcome back to Simple and Healthy Mama. I'm Kate, mother to two young kids. Are they young anymore? Six and eight. We just started first and third grade last week here in Minneapolis, and we're very excited to be back to school, although of course it's still a little harrowing sending your kids to school in person during a pandemic. But one thing that I found that is really, really helping are these checklists that I made. So I wanna talk about those today and see if it might be something that could help you make your mornings run a little bit smoother. Before we dive into this, I just wanna say thank you for being here and please go ahead and hit like below. And if you're interested in more content about simple, healthy, sane parenting, especially through a pandemic, go ahead and subscribe below if you haven't already. And the greatest compliment you can always give me is to share this with your friends. All right, let's get into it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am excited to share something that we have been trying for the first week of school here. And I haven't done this in the past, although it's one of those things that I kind of knew would probably help. And I finally got around to doing it. I designed these lovely checklists on Canva, which is a great program where you can just make things pretty basically that you want to print. And we just got a color printer, which I didn't even realize it was color when my husband got it because he picked it out. And um, I'm really happy actually. It turns out color makes me happy, like my blue walls. I also just painted my bathroom this color because apparently it's the perfect blue. But I digress. Let's talk about the back to school checklists or the going to school checklists, I should say. So, and there's one of my children. Yes, darling. Okay, sorry, that was my son interrupting because of course it is the second week of school and we've already got a kid home sick, although he's not really sick, he has a cold. But with COVID, you can't really even send your kid to school with a cold. We did get a COVID test yesterday. We're still waiting on the results. Of course, then we will know if it is actually cold or if it is COVID. Like I said, there's added stress still because we really want to be able to send our kids to school. It was so glorious to start the school year off and actually take them to school. Now, one of the things that has really helped is that I put together these checklists. Now, I used to avoid things like this because I am naturally, I think, more serious, uptight, type A, I, I tend to lean towards that side and I don't wanna to go too far that way and so I felt like stuff like this was just being too uptight. But it turns out that things like checklists actually work for both of our kids who have totally opposite personalities. So we have one child who is a little more head in the clouds and big picture and one child who's way more details oriented and likes rules and routines and schedules. And this has helped both of them. So I thought I for sure needed to make a video to show you what I've done here. So I will post links below of a blank version of this that you could print out and handwrite in or put labels on or just an idea to give you to make your own version of this. What I did was I printed a checklist for going to school. So we have Matilda's going to school checklist, backpack, three clean masks, water bottle, gym shoes, laptop, homework. These are the things my daughter needs to bring to school. Our son's is very similar. He has an iPad instead of a laptop. Apparently in third grade, we're big enough for a Chromebook. So, oy oy, <laughs> more things we could lose and forget to bring. So we have that all down here and she has to take her laptop out and charge it each night at home. So there's definitely potential to forget it, but they want the devices coming home every day in case the class gets quarantined because of COVID, which has already happened to one class at my son's school. So anyway, we've got the checklists by the door. The middle one is their coming home from school checklist, which is the same for both of them. But then what I did was I just slid each of these into a plastic page protector, like you would put in a binder for doing like a fancy report or something. I just had some of those in my office because I haven't decluttered my office that much yet. Do you mind? Oh, you're gonna come say hello. Okay, okay, come here, hi. Hi, you wanted to tell people you had a bath? Come here, come here, go girl, sit down. Can you tell time? Are you thinking it's time to go get Matilda? It's not quite yet, but we're getting close. I was gonna finish my video. You were thinking about that. You, you want to walk to school and go get Matilda. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do that in a few minutes. So I printed these off, I put them in the page protectors, and then right up here on the windowsill, I'm just keeping a dry erase marker. And after they do something, they can check it off or just cross it out. I also have an eraser. If you don't have like an official dry erase eraser, um, a used up dryer sheet works really well. Ooh. And 
I just stuck them to the wall with like some 3M sticky things because I didn't want to ruin my um, beautiful blue paint here. But they can check things off and I put them in the order they should do them so that it just becomes a habit. Now if they master this habit and they get this routine down, then they don't have to keep checking it off and then eventually they might not even need it posted. But we need to get to a point where I feel confident and they are confident that they're not going to be regularly forgetting things. Everybody makes mistakes. The goal is never to be perfect. We talk about that a lot in our family. We're not trying to be perfect, but we are trying to not forget something every single day. And there's a lot to remember, especially with COVID because we've got the device and the masks. And unlike other years, they really have to have a water bottle. Our daughter's school doesn't even have air conditioning and they've turned off the water fountains. So you need a water bottle with you at school so that you can stay hydrated. When they come home from school, they've got a completely different checklist. So this is their home from school checklist. First thing is put your mask away. Now, if you're using fabric masks, you might wanna have a little, um, you know those bags that you can get to wash your delicates in, your bras? you can hang one of those near your door and they can put them in there and then you can zip them and they stay together in the laundry so they don't get all over and get lost. We are doing high quality like KN95s um, this year because they're available, first of all, because they are safer than just doing a cloth mask if they properly fit. So remember for masks, it's fit and quality of mask. Just in case you aren't aware, those are now available and there are different companies that are making kid size KN95s and with the Delta variant, I'm feeling more comfortable sending our kids in those. So the first thing is put your mask away because I figure they're not gonna take it off perfectly and their hands are probably already germy, so we're gonna deal with that first. Plug in their device, charge your device, put your backpack away. That also includes pulling out papers that they need to give me. Wash your water bottle. Now this is a little bit of genius here because I got Dawn Power Wash, which I'm probably gonna do a whole video on because I love it that much. Dawn Power Wash will change your life. It's a spray soap and it's a dish soap, but I am cleaning my whole house with it. Again, I'll tell you later more about it. But I trained them before school even started how to spray it on their, their bottle, give it a quick scrub, rinse it really well, and put it in the drying rack. That way it is always in the drying rack for the next day when they're getting ready and they need to get their water bottle packed. Then we have wash hands. The nice thing is if they've just done their water bottle, they've probably also washed their hands in the process, but we really wanna give your hands a good scrub after school. Make sure your kids know how to get under their nails. My neighbor showed me, hi neighbor, this trick, have them kind of go like this and that can help. And I don't let my kids have what I call lady fingernails. Uh, they have very short fingernails to keep the germs and dirt out. And then the last thing on the list is their favorite, which is they may have a snack. They come home from school very hungry this year. School goes later in the day, so there's more time after lunch at school. So they come home quite hungry. I try and have a healthy snack ready or a couple of options available for them. But the motivation to get to the end of the list is that when they say, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm like, okay, do your checklist. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Okay, did you finish your checklist? This isn't gonna take very long. We're talking about a few minutes. So every day when they come home starving, they are able to get through this list pretty quickly because they are motivated to get to their snack. And then I'm not stuck at night after bedtime making sure that everything's ready for the next day or that I got notes and field trip permission slips. Not that we're doing that this year, but you know what I mean, that we're ready to go. So for our kids, grades one and three, I didn't do pictures next to these, but that would be a really good option if your kids are not yet reading. Our son is in first grade, so he's just starting to learn to read, but this was such a short list, and I figure he'll really get into the habit of it that he's not going to need the pictures to help him read it because it's just gonna take him a few days to really memorize it um, since there are only so many options that it can be. If it starts with B-A-C-K, he can probably figure that out. Whew, I feel like I've been talking a mile a minute, but I was excited about back to school stuff. I wanted to share this with you. I wanted to get this video out quickly. It's still toward the start of the year. I know some districts are just starting now. We started last week. I hope everything is going really well for you. If you did start in person, I hope you have not been quarantined yet. I'm so sorry if you have. It's really rough, guys. So try and keep it together. Try and do your best. Remember, perfection is not the goal. All right, today I've got one quick bonus tip at the end of the video here. And I wanted to let you know that it is that time of year. I know the snow is not flying yet, 
But if you saw my video last year about the best snowsuit for kids, the one piece snowsuit, I will link the video here if you wanna hear more about it. But now is when you get them. So you get them from Land's End, this is not sponsored. I don't have enough subscribers to be sponsored. So if I'm recommending something, it's cause I actually think this will change your life for the better. And I'm trying to become minimalist. So I'm not trying to sell you things that you don't need but somehow they always hide, look at that, they hide it down here tiny. This is the snowsuit that you need that I talk about in my video. And it is 40% off right now, which means it's $75, which might seem like a lot, but you're basically getting a jacket and snow pants. And these have lasted our kids two to three years for each one. They have those hems that they let out. You may not. This is also when they actually have them in stock, so get it right now. But the promo code is PAL, P-A-L, and the pin is 8227. I don't know if I'm supposed to give you that, but get the 40% off, get the one-piece snowsuit. You can thank me later. All right, bye guys. Until next time, you've got this, mamas.